up, Jones Phones? It is your girl, United Lee Random, and today I'm gonna give you a little bit of my thought process, which includes how I've been making money, and some of you are going to absolutely love hearing how I've been making money because you have been asking me to make money in this way for a while. And then some of you are gonna absolutely hate it when I tell you my philosophy behind it, philosophy. Philosophy is philosophy for forever now. I'm going to one day have children and I'm going to tell it. It's tell them. I'm going to tell it. I'm going to tell them it is philosophy. But if you are interested in getting to hear how this mind cranium right here and how it works, stick around. Also, let me know what type of content you would like to see on my page. Let me know down below. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Um, ever since I went viral for having big mommy milkers, Stuart, turn down the volume! Turn it down! Turn down the volume! Thank you, I love you. Say it back! I love you too. Yeah. So anyway, a lot of people have been asking me to make an OF account. Now, if you don't know what an OF account is, you probably shouldn't be on this video. was to give you enough time to click off. If you're still here, buckle down because I'm finna tell you some information. I have been doing adult content for a little while now. It started off as just tease content and it's gotten to the point where within two months, I'm getting more comfortable with showing the, um, the peaks of the mountain, right? Actually, don't call it the peaks of the mountain because then you're going to think that I'm having like, I'm doing something else. Um, I'm trying to keep this like PG-13, but still we're talking about a somewhat adult manner, right? So what I will say is I've gotten used to showing more nudity, right, on my uh, page. And not like an action or anything but I've gotten used to showing more nudity right so I started a mini biz account to make a little bit of money because I was not making anything and there was a stress about where the money is coming in because the only constant rolling income that I had was from YouTube from the bras 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 video which was quickly losing traction and then from TikTok which on TikTok I constantly constantly got asked do I have an OF account so the desire was there for the consumers the desire wasn't there for me um for those who have been on my channel for a while you guys know that because my mommy milkers I have dealt with a lot of A lot of harassment. That's Stuart in the background, just all types of blocking with the chicken. Um, but uh, I dealt with a lot of harassment. And so it made it so that I was just like, oh, do this uh, appeal to the male gaze. Eh. Also, like, I think I'm more, uh, I, I like to say that I'm bi, but I think I like women more than I like men. And so the thoughts of, like, putting on a show for men just not really, like, a... Um, turn on for me oh my goodness youtube is going to demonetize this video i just i can see it now but it was not very much so a turn on for me and i i just i'm not just a product i'm a real person you know what i mean so i was going back and forth and i came to this idea where since i if i'm going to make content it's going to be hella expensive why is it going to be hella expensive because the way I see it is why you guys are engaging in your kink, which is fetishizing my body because I have big mommy milkers. I am engaging in my kink. Now you might ask, what is your kink? Financial dominancy, okay? I like control over wallets and specifically men wallets because I don't have uh, mm, I want to say I'm not really attracted to men. So I really, I'm attracted to what they can bring to the table. And that's their wallet in this situation, right? So while you're enjoying looking at me, I'm 
I'm enjoying getting money. A lot of my content is hella expensive. It's just hella expensive. Like people will look at it and be like, why is it so much? I have discounts every once in a while. Every once in a while if I'm feeling generous, but that really doesn't make me feel like I'm in control of your wallet. And so therefore I'm not really doing the whole, here you go, discount every week. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm enjoying the power that I gain from uh, making my prices really high, okay? I feel like also there's this worry that someone could just very easily just um, take my content and then put it somewhere else, right? Um, which the app that I use, Minivis, is actually constantly keeping an eye out on if anyone downloads the video and if the video shows up again, they'll give you that DMCA I think that's the right word, but they'll give you that takedown notice. You know what I'm saying? Like Kim Kardashian did to Ray J. Yes, they will come at the ass. So the app um, is very protective in that manner. So I felt comfortable being on the app. And also like with the, the amount of money they're taking from me, <laughs> they better be taking care of me. Um, so for me on that app, I actually get 60% of all of the videos that I sell. Only 60% of that. And I mean like only, but like it is still money. As of right now, I think I've earned over $500 and I've been doing it for about two months, three months is not a lot of money, but it, it adds up. Okay. And when it adds up, it's, it's enough to freaking, uh, pay for a plane ticket because that's what I'm going to be doing in the future. For those who did not ask, I am educated. I just have a hard time using my education because of trauma and a lot of the things that I went through okay and it's not like me making excuses it's just the reality right and so what I find is that I do still want to use my degree and that's another reason why my things are so expensive if someone's going to try to like buy my content to show to other people and try to like rat me out and stuff like that like baby you paid over a hundred dollars to do that like you know what I mean it's just like, oh, you really wanted to do that. So it's just kind of like, eh, I believe that whatever is mine is going to be mine. Um, so I'm not too stressed about it. Also, I didn't like the idea of a bunch of men just having me like in their spank bank. It, that just, it just sounds gross. I'm sorry. Like, again, I tell you guys over and over and over again, I kind of don't like men. So like, why would... Like, there's some women out there, though. I'm amazed, but there's some women out there that just really enjoy um, the idea of men looking at them. I'm not the one. I, I am not the one. Now, woman. Woman. That's a whole nother story. I wasn't going to be posting on my uh, YouTube channel for a little while. Uh, I wanted to start back posting in October, but because this is a situation that keeps coming up. And also, I don't know if you guys know that I make the content, you know, on mini vids. So I thought, okay, let me go ahead and just let them know, hey, I make content on mini vids. If that's what you want, it's there. you know follow my twitter for updates discounts follow my twitter for things like that and i don't know keep it keep keep it keeping it on also Stu knows about me creating content um 100 is not something that i hidden from him we talked about this for a while Stu always says as long as he can get a playstation out of it and i say if you want a playstation you need to learn how to sell yourself uh <laughs> i'm just kidding but let me tell you Stu was selling himself last night let me i'm gonna put the clip in it's a long ass clip but it's gonna Stu being reckless okay Stu is being reckless go ahead and check that out i don't have nothing else to say this is gonna be the end of the video if you see me again it's just gonna be to say have a nice day so i love you guys and i'll see you in october what's up jones phones it is your girl united random and stewart stewart is doing some wild shit today so i think i think he should tell you guys what type of wild shit he was doing i didn't before. do anything
uh, wild shit that he was allowing random strangers to do to him before he came home. And I like at first I was like, I'm not gonna record this. I was like, oh, da, da, da. but then he started telling me, and like my my like alarms, like if Stu was a woman, like the things he's about to tell you guys. Um, yeah, so there I was, uh, walking, uh, out of Kroger, mm-hmm. and, um, I'm just putting my groceries in the car, you know, being a regular person, um, and then this dude comes up to me, well, he drives up, and he's like, hey, excuse me, uh, I don't know if you've ever been asked this, but, uh, have you ever considered modeling? And I was like, um, no. Uh, and he was like, so was it like getting a little dark when this happened? It was already dark. It's dark right now. So a man came up to Stewart at night. At night in the dark and was like, "Hey yo, even though it's dark, you, you look, look in my real pretty." <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue. Um, so then he was like, uh, uh, "You know, if you uh, do a basic, this is all the cliff notes of it. I don't remember exact words." Um, but he was like, hey, if you do come do, I, I do some um, recruiting on the side. So if you come do a consultation for me, I'll come pay you for your time. Um, okay, so pause. Did he tell you how much he was going to pay you? He never, he didn't tell me that until I got the cash out. Okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. Let's go to the next part. Yeah, so um, uh, I follow him mm-hmm. to his uh, apartment. Mm-hmm. And um, he called. he called me... Mind as, you. Yeah, as soon as I got in the car, I fucking called her up and let her know the situation. Yeah, he was like, I might die tonight. I'm like, boy! Yeah, so if I get murdered, I'll, uh, you know, text you the fucking um, license plate and, you know, information about where I am. Yeah, but he didn't give me nobody's name. I just had a license plate. That could have been a stolen car. Mm, yeah, but it's not a stolen apartment. So there. Did are... you tell me the apartment number? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, we go up uh, into his very nice-smelling uh, apartment. Mm-hmm. Like, it's super fucking nice-smelling. Uh, Stuart told me the reason that it was nice-smelling is because he was a little... But I, I didn't, didn't say that that's why. <laughs> nah, he I didn't said say that's why. I know. That's why I wasn't that worried. Like, the dude is not only... He's, he's like, this tall. Oh, he's tiny. Uh, like I could take this dude. Like, okay, but like here's the the warning signs because no, I know. I know. I I know. Like there even been... if you can take the dude, it doesn't you know okay. immediately dis- uh, make it so nothing bad can happen. I know. Okay, I but know. on top of that, he could have had somebody else in his apartment. Yeah, I was kind of waiting for like uh, you know some dude to come out from the back uh, with a gun and just be like. Okay, um, now, Stuart is afraid, y'all, but he still did it, though. Are you, like, come here! Oh, my gosh, I'm still, right I'm still recording. Okay. Look how so, long yeah. this is. You better go ahead and tell me the story. Look at okay. this. Yeah. Nobody's anyway. going to watch this long. Nobody's going to watch this long. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. So. You need to gut it up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. So, he, uh, you know, ha- has me stand up in front of him. Uh, he, you know, is, you know, feeling up my waist and uh, torso area. Yeah. Show them how he felt you up using me as, as, right. I'm Stuart now. All right. You had your arms out? Well, for a little bit. And then he was doing it for a while. Oh, uh, what you doing back there? Show him what you doing. Oh, ticklish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's all he did? Well, had me... St- uh, and then he was like... He pulled down uh, my pants just below my booty crack. You know, it was just down right here. It wasn't all the way off or anything. And he started feeling me there. He left your boxers on, right? Yeah. Okay. Did he uh, ask you before? No. What if you weren't wearing boxers? What if I wasn't cool with it? Okay. Anyway, um... Then he had me go to his bedroom, lay down, prone on his bed, um, and then he started, you know, touching my toes, you know, 
well, my feet. And then he uh, was like feeling my thighs and then feeling my butt again. And then let me tell you, this is the wildest part. He fucking laid on top of me, uh, and I could feel I could feel his little bulge like, across my booty cheeks. And he was like, "Now flex your booty." Like, and I was just flexing. And at some point, I was like, "You know, I'm not gay." <laughs> and he was like, "Oh yeah." No, uh, uh, no, he also said, uh, "I'm using you as like a muse, and it's only for to see how uh, your your muscles work." So after a few more seconds of that, he got up and just walked out of the room. Uh, I followed him, and he was writing stuff on his little paper. Um, and he was like, "Hey, what? Uh, you're you're a 36 in the waist, right?" And I was like, "Yeah." yeah. And then he had me walk uh, back and forth to see my model walk, um, I guess, and. Uh, then he paid me $25. Cash up. And I left. So... That was weird as hell. I'm just also, gonna... I'm gonna post the video as is on my TikTok. That's... The fact that Stu... Even, like, continue to be... Like, the fact that he went there, that's such a man. That is such a man thing. Because, like, as a woman, could never... Could yeah. never follow a stranger you know, to their home. So, he was like... And he texted me, uh, at, like, originally just, thank you, Stuart. And I was like, not a problem. And he was like, if you want to be a muse and are free, please let me know and you can come make more money. Do you know what that means, to be a muse? He probably laughed at you <laughs> after you left. <laughs> Amused is what he was. You got this dude rubbing his dick all over your ass. Yeah, I was like, no. <laughs> I, I, like, I, 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 I could feel it wasn't getting harder, but it was okay. already like. It a, was like, like oh, a, okay. It was like, uh, uh, not a break. Uh, it was already like a chunky thing. No, that's not right. But, you know, if you want to go back. And give us more stories. Hopefully there's not someone hiding in the closet waiting to kill you next yeah. time. But okay. Matter of okay. fact, next time bring me with you. I'm going to sneak record. You can't post something like that on TikTok, I don't think. Mm, we'll find out. And much love and positive vibes. I hope to see you guys again in October. You know, I'm going to finish off my little breaky break and come back and hopefully be ready to be great. Bye. Does it look like a heart? You got the key to my heart. Oh.